All right, before I get into anything else, we do have a giveaway going on for two copies of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Uh, if you would like to enter into that giveaway, literally, I'm picking the winners like this Thursday and, and getting them the download codes for their games. Uh, you just go down to the description or the pinned comment and find out how. Obviously, uh, I would prefer if you guys would subscribe to the channel because, uh, hey, you want to be, you know, pinged on all my videos and future giveaways and future fun stuff, right? All right. So first thing first, you can already see the article on screen. We're going to be talking about scalpers uh, and collectors that are buying up McDonald's Pokemon Happy Meals. Uh, my thoughts on this happening, uh, this is not the first time it's happened in my life. It's not the first time it's happened to McDonald's. And I remember being a kid and having this happen uh, and for a, a different type of toy. And I want to talk about it, uh, actually a couple different toys uh, that I want to talk about this happening to when I was a kid and uh, some thoughts on this, this, this whole trend of uh, scalping in general. But before I do, I want to apologize. Uh, there was supposed to be a video, a Prime News video going out today. Uh, I have it literally recorded. I've had it recorded since 7.30 in the morning. Uh, it's, it, I have all the footage. I have everything ready to go. I've been having some technical issues all day. Uh, I'm not even sure if this video is going to go out at the time I'm recording this. Uh, and not necessarily because I've had issues with my cameras or my microphones. It's actually just been computer related. Uh, on my laptop, uh, I just got a brand new laptop yesterday, a really nice laptop, uh, with an i7, like 10, 750H and it, uh, six core, 12 thread processor, 16 gigs of Ram running at 3,200 speeds. Uh, I had obviously a 2060 in this bad boy, 4k 60 screen. It was a beast and it was essentially going to probably become my main way to edit, uh, not that I'm not going to use my studio, but I was going to kind of change things up to kind of have like a live stream setup versus a editing setup and, uh, just make things a lot easier for me. Uh, but here's the thing that computer, the keyboard stopped working on, right? So obviously I had to return it, uh, order a new one. Okay, fine. And the stores don't have any in stock. So I returned it. Supposedly a new one's coming tomorrow, whatever, right? You know, you, you, why didn't you just use your normal computer that technically this video was created on? And, well, <laughs> my desktop computer has been blue screening for quite some time. Um, it doesn't seem to do it while I'm live streaming anymore, but it does do it uh, in several other cases. And it's extremely frustrating that this is happening. And I every time I try to edit any video that, that has any fancy editing... Um, it, it just can't handle it. Uh, I have repasted the CPU, uh, tried a whole new cooler. I have, I have reset and replaced the Ram. I've tried multiple GPUs. I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty sure the motherboard itself is having some issues based on the error codes that come up, uh, which means the motherboard needs to be replaced, which as you guys might know, it's actually kind of hard to get your hands on proper motherboards. Um, a proper any computer parts right now it's a really bad time to have technology issues and things are all on the second hand market and really expensive so i i just this is horrible um it, i i feel get bad about it i don't know when the laptop's arriving tomorrow i do have to be here um all day so i had to take off work to sign uh for the laptop assuming that it even arrives i'm gonna be really upset if it's not gonna arrive tomorrow after i already took off work um, so if I end up, you know, doing more streams or more simplified videos here for the next day or two, it's not because I don't want to make prime news. Uh, it's because I just can't, uh, it, it just isn't like working with the technology I have right now. And you might say, Hey, well, Nate, you know, before you return the laptop, why didn't you, uh, plug a keyboard into it? The USB port stopped working. Again, brand new computer. I've only ever did one single school assignment on it last night. This morning, keyboard doesn't work. USB ports don't work. No, I didn't leave it plugged in overnight. So it couldn't have been from a power surge. So I don't know what happened. It sucks. Uh, we'll be waiting for a new one for that. And if it happens again, then clearly there is uh, some massive design flaws. But anyways, let's get into the story. So scalpers and collectors buy up McDonald's Pokemon Happy Meals, like stealing burgers from a baby. All right, so here's how the story goes. This is why we can't have anything nice. 
Kids across the U.S. are unable to get their hands on any of the 50 Pokemon cards included in McDonald's Happy Meals this month to celebrate Pokemon's 25th anniversary, since eBay scalpers have been buying up the packs in bulk. Since some of the cards are rare holographic versions, it's not really a surprise, but it is disappointing. It seems like many adults are heading to McDonald's to purchase the cards in mass without the Happy Meals themselves, which you can do. I used to work at McDonald's. You can buy Happy Meal toys on their own. That is something that's relatively common when certain Happy Meal toys are in high demand. And some are intercepting entire boxes. This, that, the, that's like a big no-no to me. I'm sorry. This, that shouldn't even be possible. Uh, of the things before they even make it to restaurants. Um, so Jimmy Bond here puts up uh, proof that these things are on eBay. Uh, so it says, this is not cool. Your employees are scalping these while my kids can't get them with a paid meal. Entire boxes is what you see in here. Packs, lots of 150 seal packs, 810 bucks. We'll go on eBay here uh, in a moment and actually, <laughs> assuming my computer doesn't crash, uh, and, and look at uh, what they're going for right this second. So, Pokemon 25th anniversary McDonald's promo booster packs. Well, that, that'll be a, a, a search term we'll use here. It says over on eBay, full boxes are selling for upwards of $800, and individual seal packs are selling for around $5 to $20 each. Uh, the only way that these boxes could be in the hands of sellers is either a back alley deal with an employee or an employee is the seller. Either way, it's not a great look for McDonald's. Asking people to at least donate the meals to the homeless. And this guy here, JT Valor, um, you know, he went to McDonald's to grab some of the new Pokemon car packs. Since he couldn't buy the packs separately, I bought 10 Happy Meals, and then he gave out the food in the homeless area. So that, that McDonald's wasn't allowing them to be bought separately. It's kind of up to the manager. Uh, if you only want the cards, then do the same. So that was a nice thing to see the homeless get some food and all that uh, on people's card hunts. For the record, we have nothing against adults buying Pokemon cards. We are, in fact, adults, and we have to cut our sandwiches into Pikachu shapes just so we won't, or we won't eat them still. It's something going to be a disappointing uh, month for a kid who loves Pokemon. Um, this, to me, is... Uh, like, this guy says, please retweet. I'm the person who buys Pokemon Happy Meals and gets 27 Battleship toys, and the store claims they don't have Pokemon card toys. Even when I spoke to the manager yesterday, he said he had them. The receipt even says Pokemon. Um, here's the thing. And I'm going to head over to eBay uh, while I talk about this. I don't like scalping. I've never liked it. A, a buying something for the repurpose of reselling. Um, I get that it, it's perfectly fine in the market. Um, it, this is something, especially in the United States, that is uh, promoted as something to do to make some extra cash at times. Um, you know, card packs let's see what pops up for this um i mean here's one for 1095 45 850 for a whole box i mean this is a thing that's happening scalping of children's mcdonald's toys are happening right now and the, and the prices on these are only going to go up and up and up as they're so hard to get in person at my local mcdonald's uh which let me see we had one in chippewa uh where, where i'm from 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 chippewa falls uh wisconsin no I, I don't care if you guys know what, what town i live in i whatever uh and then there's a couple in uh eau claire next door like they don't have any of them at all i try to get my kids some happy meals uh for dinner tonight which you know they, they don't get to have that stuff very often because i'm on this healthy diet uh but i'm like you know what hey you got some pokemon cards i wasn't even getting them for myself none of them had them they had they had backup toys hasbro toys a couple other type of toy types but they didn't have the pokemon cards and why don't they have them because of scalpers. I've experienced this as a kid. Um, once with Pokemon, actually, but we'll get to that in a moment. I actually experienced this at McDonald's with T.Y. baby toys. You guys remember the T.Y. stuffed animals? Like, those were highly collectible, still highly collectible today, especially some of the older ones, the older rare ones. And they used to have mini ones at Happy Meals. I, like, maybe got one as a kid out of, like, ten Happy Meal attempts from my parents because they just didn't have any. People were buying them up. And here we are with Pokemon, one of the most popular uh, franchises in the world. And this is happening again. And I, I don't feel – if you legitimately go to McDonald's and buy a Happy Meal – and get the pack and you buy 20 happy meals and get the pack fine what what am i gonna do tell you that you can't go to go there and spend your money on it i have an issue when you see full boxes like this because you can't they, they can't sell you full boxes they're not allowed to so to get a full box like this requires an employee breaking the law 
and basically stealing the box and selling it to somebody or selling it themselves. I mean, $950 here for this one. $900 for this one. This one's not, it's like sealed. It hasn't even been opened right fresh off the damn delivery truck. I used to work at McDonald's. I did every job you could do at McDonald's, including groundskeeping for crying out loud. And yeah, I empty delivery trucks. Really won't be that hard if someone's not paying attention to slip this out the back door and get it into someone's car. Okay, it's pretty ridiculous. $880 for this one. Here's one that's a little cheaper because it might have a few less packs at $550. Um, it just goes on and on. $975, $825, $950. It's ridiculous. And I get why it's happening because they're collectible and there's rare holographics in these. But the purpose of this promotion is Pokemon for kids. And the fact that there are thousands, millions, however many kids out there that might have been like heard about this from their friends and, and wanted to go get a Happy Meal to get a pack that can't, it's disappointing. I am a, a gamer. I am a parent. I was a child at one point. It was disappointing when I was a kid and couldn't get my hands on the TY babies. It's disappointing now that a promotion designed specifically for kids is being taken advantage of to the point that kids can't even get one even when their parents go to buy it the day the Happy Meals are out. I I feel bad for kids. Well, what's happening when you see scalping of whole boxes like this is you are taking away someone's childhood memories. You are taking away a child who could open a pack and get super excited and maybe they ruin the cards. But you know what? That's prerogative. They're children. Maybe they don't. Maybe they hold on to the cards. And they get to use them when they're older and, and sell them off if they ended up getting a rare holographic. I know when I was a kid, I was really careful with all the holographic cards I got. 800 bucks here. It just keeps going. 850 You know, 1100 for 150 which which must be as many packs fit in a box. This is just not okay. I'm I'm not cool with what 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 is happening here, and we see scalping all the time. We we know we've dealt with this as switcher. I remember Super Mario 3D All Stars for like a whole day. It was really hard to find them. So like yeah, that was being scalped like crazy. We've seen switches scalped. Obviously, we're still dealing with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X's being scalped. Like scalping is very much a part of the of the world we're in, but. I don't care so much as, as much about PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XP scalp because we're talking $500 systems that clearly parents are going to have to buy for their children or buy for themselves or just adults in general. It's not really something that a kid is going to take some allowance money and just go out and buy one of those systems. But a Happy Meal? But a Happy Meal. A kid could easily get five bucks from their parents and get a damn Happy Meal. It's just sad. Now, I did mention when I was a kid, there was a Pokemon something that was really hard to get. Uh, but it wasn't that, like, it wasn't as difficult as these Pokemon cards are to get. And that is, you guys remember, anyone who's in their 30s, you guys remember back when Burger King had a Pokemon promotion where you got a Pokeball with a gold-plated Pokemon card in it? I do. I had three of them. It was a little bit easier to get. Maybe because Burger King is, is, isn't as widely scalped as a McDonald's toy. Maybe it's not as collectible. But after one week, they never came back in, 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 again. And it was supposed to be a month-long promotion. And I have found out since that they were being scalped as well. They just took a little bit for the scalper market to realize, oh crap, these things are valuable, valuable, and they had real gold plating on them, so, supposedly. I don't know. Someone's probably tested them right now to see if it's actual gold or if it's fake. But if it was real gold, I mean, that just makes them even more collectible. I don't like this practice. Now, again, if you're going to go out and buy, a few, and buy some packs, you know, look at this, 40 bucks here for these, like, five of them. If you're going to go out and, and, and buy some Happy Meals and get the packs, fine. But don't do it for the purpose of scalping them. Do it because you want them. You want the pack. I understand Pokemon. We just had a story in Prime News yesterday about the entire base set in mint condition selling for $666,000. You know, of, of those first edition uh, Pokemon cards from back in 1999. Like... I get it. There's big money in Pokemon card collecting. But those people at least 
bought the cards and or opened the packs and saved the cards themselves. So they got to potentially enjoy those cards in some way or form. You know, looking at them, bare minimum. They didn't just go get the packs to resell them. And this is the, the, the state of the world. This is the state of a free and open market is that you're able to resell pretty much anything you buy, right? Anything you buy is able to be resold even if there's like, you know, you know, even if it says, you know, this item can't be resold, right? Right? You'll, you'll see some items. You could still end up reselling it. You know, you'll see that like you'll buy like a pack of suckers um, from Costco or, or Sam's Club or something. You know, you get this huge pack and it'll say on, say on, the, say on the label, you know, not for resale. And then you'll see people selling those over and over again um, online or at sporting events from boxes that say they're not supposed to be reselling them. But they do. It happens. We all know it happens. And no one really does anything about it because that's just the free and open market we're in. You can say not for resale. It doesn't mean it's legally not able to be sold. And even if it did mean that, it's not enforced. Uh, I think the only time we saw scalping actually uh, kind of – getting slapped down a bit was the guy who was scalping all the hand sanitizer. Uh, I remember that uh, back, back in the heart of the pandemic at the beginning when we just did not have enough supply of, of, of basics like hand sanitizer, which feels like a basic these days. Uh, that's everywhere now. It's pretty easy to get, at least in my area. Maybe in your area, it's still difficult. And toilet paper. Um, there are people like hoarding all of it and, and selling it on eBay. And government officials and police officers stepped in and said, like, yeah, no, you can't do that. Like these are These are supplies we need. To keep people healthy, it was happening with masks as well. N95 masks for a while was happening before. Obviously, production's been ramped up now that mostly we can meet demand on a lot of these products. But this is just, I don't like it. I don't like this one bit. I feel bad for my kids. I feel bad for, if you're a parent, your kids. I feel bad for the kids, at least of America, where I know for sure this is happening, uh, who, you know, j just wanted to experience being a kid and getting that really cool McDonald's toy that everyone's talking about and instead have to deal with the fact that adults are taking all the packs and reselling them and it, kids just aren't even going to get the joy. Like if I want my kids to enjoy uh, a pack, I mean, look, you know, 14 bucks here for, for one, uh, you know, I've got three kids here, so I need at least three packs. Let's see here. 20, 50 for five. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, some of the prices aren't too bad, so I'll, I'll give it to some scalpers. They're not doing, they're not doing too bad. Like this is this is a card sleeve, um, but some of them are pretty bad, and it's definitely more expensive than just buying a Happy Meal. Sorry, I'm, I'm really frustrated by this story. Maybe I'm just frustrated in general. It's been a really rough day with technology for me, and I still have school stuff to get done, and I have all I, dude, I. It, it's a rough day, guys. All right, folks. I'm the Thunder from the Thunder Prime. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get on our road to 100,000. I don't know if we're going to hit 100K this year. I don't even know if we're going to hit 70K. But let's keep pushing, keep fighting, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.